a Department of Justice official in the Biden administration who jumped ship to join a local prosecutor's office to go after Donald Trump. And yet Trump. the DOJ told Congress. that doesn't Con make you question Senator, the legitimacy of the prosecution, that's a problem. Well, Senator, that happens all the time. People are appointed from Washington. But the DOJ told Congress, testified this week. Kristen, that it, reviewed it happens. All, it, hold on, Senator, Are let you me really finish. saying, Kristen, Senator, Senator, it, let happens, me finish my it happens sentence, all the time? Then I'll let you finish. Hold that on. The number let, let me just please. finish this. This has gone way beyond gaslighting at this point. Ever since Biden's very public mental meltdown on national TV, his allies in the media have desperately been trying to change the subject to their Trump narrative that he's literally Hitler, Stalin, Lenin, and Mao Zedong all wrapped into one. Of course, that's hard to do when Joe Biden literally has this country looking like a third world hellhole dictatorship. Joining me now is Senator J.D. Vance, a top finalist to be former President Trump's running mate. Senator Vance, welcome back to Meet the Press. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here. I want to talk to you about the immunity ruling and the implications. This is what Donald Trump said last year about wanting to target his political opponents. Take a listen. I will appoint a real special prosecutor to go after the most corrupt president in the history of the United States of America, Joe Biden, and the entire Biden crime family. Senator, if former President Trump were to win, if you were to be his vice president, would you support him appointing a special prosecutor to go after his political enemies, the Bidens? Well, first of all, Kristen, I find it interesting how much the media and the Democrats have lost their mind over this particular quote. Donald Trump is talking about appointing a special prosecutor to investigate uh, Joe Biden for wrongdoing. Joe Biden has done exactly that for the last few years and has done far more in addition to that to engage in a campaign of lawfare against his political opposition. I think what Donald Trump is simply saying is we ought to investigate the prior administration. There are obviously many instances of wrongdoing. Uh, the House Oversight Committee has identified a, a number of corrupt business transactions that may or may not be criminal. Of course, you have to investigate to find out. So I think Donald Trump saying, look, let's do the basic work of investigating wrongdoing is a totally reasonable thing for him to do. And frankly, the Biden administration has done far worse. So if you think that what Donald Trump is proposing is a threat to democracy, isn't what Biden has already done a massive threat to our Se system of law and Se government? Senator, just to be very clear, though, Joe Biden didn't appoint a special prosecutor. The attorney general did that. Trump was indicted by grand juries. He was found guilty by a jury of his peers in New York. But can we just go back to the core question here? Would you support him taking such an action? It sounds like you're saying, yes, you would. I would absolutely support investigating prior wrongdoing by our government. Absolutely, that's what you have to have in a system of law and order, Kristen. But I have to reject the premise here. Uh, Joe Biden appointed the Attorney General Merrick Garland, who, of course, answers to Joe Biden, can be fired by Joe Biden. So the idea that the Biden administration has nothing to do with the appointment of the special prosecutor, I think, completely betrays an understanding, a misunderstanding of how but, our system of government actually but, works. But and of but, course, and of course, Kristen, we ha we, ha we we have to say, we have to make this point, Kristen, uh, that the prosecution of Donald Trump in New York, which I think now is fundamentally been thrown in doubt by this immunity case, it was one of the main guys was a Department of Justice official in the Biden administration who jumped ship to join a local prosecutor's office to go after Donald Trump. And yet Trump. the DOJ that told doesn't Con make you question Senator, the legitimacy of the prosecution, that's a problem. Well, Senator, that happens all the time. People are appointed from Washington, but the DOJ told Congress, testified this week Kristen, that it reviewed it happens, all... It, hold on, Senator, Are let you me really finish. saying, Kristen, Senator, Senator, it, let happens, me finish my it happens sentence, all the time? Then I'll let you finish. Hold on. The number th let, let me just please. finish this. The go DOJ ahead. told Sorry. Congress this week it reviewed all communications since Biden took office and found no contact between federal prosecutors and those involved with that case in New York. You must think I'm pretty stupid. Oh, yes, the no evidence defense, just like there was no evidence that Joe Biden was having a cognitive decline. And there was no evidence that Hunter Biden's laptop was real and that it was actually Russian disinformation. These people have proven over and over they will lie and gaslight this country in service of Democrat Party control. And just to summarize, Biden's DOJ is prosecuting his main rival just before an election for mishandling classified documents. 
Bynes. Bynes DOJ also wrote a get out of jail free card for Bynes mishandling of classified materials because according to them, he's too old. Also, Bynes DOJ just sent Trump's chief strategist to prison for ignoring a congressional subpoena. While Bynes attorney general also ignore congressional subpoenas, but isn't going to jail because he isn't prosecuting himself. Hunter Biden also ignore congressional subpoenas and also isn't going to jail for it. But yeah, sure, keep telling us that there's no evidence that Biden has weaponized our justice system against his political opponents. But instead, let's worry about a hypothetical situation that actually has zero chance of occurring. Can you stick to the substance of the question though? Let me just ask because you are, I just wanna stick with this line of theory that you are laying out, which is you are saying it's not okay for Joe Biden to weaponize the Justice Department. If it's not okay for Joe Biden to weaponize the Justice Department, as you say, which there's no evidence of that, why is it okay for Donald Trump to do that? Does it feel different? Or if it's not okay for Trump to do, why are you defending Joe Biden who's doing it right now? You see, this is what you get every time Democrats set a standard that they don't want to hold themselves to. Oh, that was different. Well, Kristen, first of all, you said that it happens all the time that the number three person in the Department of Justice jumps ship to join a local prosecutor's office to go after the president's political opponent. I don't think that's ever happened in the history of American democracy, and I don't think that we should legitimize it. Now, if Donald Trump's attorney general had this, his number two or his number three jump ship to a local prosecutor's office in Ohio or Wisconsin, and that person then went after Donald but Trump's political opposition, that's a different conversation. Sen Senator all he's suggesting is that we should investigate yeah. credible arguments of wrongdoing. That's all that Donald Trump is saying. That is not a threat to democracy. So That's merely reinforcing our system of law and government. Bottom line, you are okay with Donald Trump appointing a special prosecutor to go after his political enemies, which would include Joe Biden. I, you're just to button that up. It sounds like you're saying yes. Let me move on, though, to my next question. Yeah. You see, she doesn't even care about what the truth is. All she cares about is getting that soundbite that J.D. Vance, who is the prospect VP for Donald Trump, doesn't care if he goes after his political opponents with a weaponized justice system. Even though Joe Biden is clearly already doing that, which is why it's so important to Kristen Welker to get that soundbite. She doesn't care about the truth. All she cares about is getting Joe Biden back in power and Democrat Party control. Like Vance just stated, we've been watching Biden go after his political opponents with our weaponized systems ever since he took office. And the scary thing is he's been able to get away with it thanks to our weaponized media, just like we're watching here. The guardrails are firmly secure when it comes to Donald Trump, but not so much when it comes to Biden, as we can see from this government propagandist who's running cover for what is clearly tyrannical behavior. Behavior. All right, folks, what do you think? Who's the actual threat to our democratic republic? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, please hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.